Yo, this is Terrell Hall of Fame, D-Line, and these are Bully Rats. Uh, been a minute, but I'm back. Um, this first one is pretty much uh, a lot of requests. <laughs> and uh, in one of the previous rants, I had talked about small balls. <laughs> and what did that mean? And a lot of people were interested because, believe it or not, over a dozen people messaged me not actually knowing what I was saying, but recognize what I was saying. And, uh, and they correlated some things that were very, very interesting. Is it typically in some of the more muscular dogs that we are seeing in the ring. Now, we're not going to start the accusation tree. I've seen it, you've seen it, and some of you never paid attention to it, and some of you never knew that it was irregular. But we were obviously talking about steroid usage in the dogs, which goes back many and many years. Uh, we've dealt with it before. It is an obvious sign. If you see a dog that's super muscular and he had these tiny little webbles, <laughs> it, I mean, that's the way testosterone and steroid uh, treatments work, is that what happens in the dog's body is that, just like it would in a human, is that the testosterone levels reach a certain level to where the body sensors cut off the production of the testosterone by that testosterone being cut off, therefore you get testicular shrinkage. And um, yes, it is prevalent in bullies. I've seen it a lot, no matter what anybody says. If you pay close attention, you'll see it. Some of these dogs that are built like Hercules and are built like infants in other areas that they shouldn't be. And um, one of the things that you have to be very, very aware of with a lot of these dogs, and if you uh, attempt to do this to your own dog is that if not done properly, and uh, you know, with most bodybuilders, it's called cycling. But if not done properly, you can cause permanent damage to your dog. So if you think you're just going to start injecting your dog with stuff, and he's going to become a big stud and this, that, and the other. What you may find out is after you inject him or inject him with too much or for too long or whatever, is that his testicles stop working and he never produces semen again. The dog can go uh, sterile. I think the term is testicular atrophy. To where the testicles never come back so you have to be very aware of that and as a um, some of you breeders some of you people who buy puppies the true advice that I would give you is if it's a stud that you like and you see that this condition is in your stud it is a very very big red flag if the dog has small testicles and the reason why I'm saying that I'm saying very small testicles when those when they are shriveled up like that it's damn near impossible that this dog is actually producing the puppies that they say he produces. So when that happens, you should be questioning a lot of things and more than likely you've got another puppy off of another dog. But uh, you know, if you have any other questions on it, I, that was just a brief overview of that uh, circumstance and what you're seeing in the ring. But um, you know, that pretty much covers it all. But if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up. I'm always down to answer whatever question I can. Thank you. On to the next one. Peace.